what's up welcome back to my channel today's video I am excited and nervous for because I am going to be talking about the truth about being a college athlete and the reason why this is kind of scary to me is because I have the experience of being a college athlete and also not being a college athlete so I have been both and that can tell you that I've had to stop a college sport, um, but I'm getting ahead of myself and I really want to talk about this because it is something that I feel very strongly about and it is something that is near and dear to my heart and I just want to tell you about the pros and the cons of being an athlete in college and what that's like and I just want to give you guys some insight of what my experience was like so maybe it will help you make your decisions or help give you encouragement or just kind of help you be guided by the way my experience was and you know by guiding I mean that maybe it confirms the decision to stop doing it or maybe it confirms the decision to keep going because I have pretty mixed up opinions of how my experience was but I do think that everything happens for a reason, so I do think that this story can really help some people out there. So I hope that you guys enjoy, and I am going to just jump right into it. So I started my freshman year of college as a track athlete. I was a shot putter, and I was a walk-on. So whenever I was in high school, it was my senior year, and I really love shot put and I made it to the state competition for my area and that was a really big deal to me. I loved it. It was something that I was very passionate about and I got so much enjoyment out of. It made me feel strong, made me feel confident, and I was okay at it, you know, and I just, it was kind of like my stress relief. And I mean, I did stress about it too, but it was really what could like keep my brain focused on something that could take you away from other things going on in your life and so for me it was just really great and I really loved it and I was pretty determined in high school that I wasn't going to play a sport in college because I really wanted to focus on my academics um, so I was pretty determined that I wasn't going to so when I filled out my applications for college I put non-athlete I never put any interest in any sports at all um, but then right as I was finishing up my season and I was getting into the state competition I was like okay I don't know if I could give this up so I inquired with the head coach at the college that I had already accepted a spot at and I asked um, for information about the track team and if it was too late to try to join the track team. So then the head coach gave the throws coach my information and then we got in contact and I got to meet the most amazing coach in the world. I love him. He is amazing. He is just, he's an incredible coach. I mean, he, he coached national champions. Like he's amazing, talented, and he's also very good at helping people with their actual lives outside of track and I think that is something very admirable. I think that he did a really good job with our team and he still does to this day. So I got in contact with him, fell in love with the idea. Um, he wasn't sugarcoating it, he said it was going to be really hard um, and that he was coming up with a conditioning program and it was going to be tough whenever we got, we came in to do it. So he sent me prep work and all that kind of stuff. So I tried doing some of the workouts. I'm going to be honest, some of them were too much that I couldn't even handle because I really wasn't in the best shape. Um, and I was trying, and I tried all the way up to summer. And then whenever we had our first day of conditioning, I passed out in a briar bush a little bit. I kind of blacked out there for a second, and... I definitely threw up and my roommate who I just was living with and one of my best friends the first day she really got to know me she had to hold my hand and walk me to the athletic trainer because my blood sugar went so high that I just I couldn't handle all of the physical activity that was going on and it was a tough day I mean he brought the heat on <laughs> pretty good and it was really hot outside too but anyway that day I thought to myself, 
I don't want to do this. I don't want to always be constantly suffering and not being able to keep up with the group and stuff like that. Um, but then there were a couple of things that really changed my mind. And one of them was one of my teammates and really good, really, really good friends um, came up to me after and said that I really crushed it and that he could tell I was really trying, I guess, was the main point that I was giving it my all because I literally had nothing left to give because I passed out. So they all said that I really set the tone for how the season needed to be, literally giving your all. And so that meant a lot that I had people backing me up. Honestly, I was so embarrassed that that happened to me, but everybody was really, really, really great about it. And then I went and met with the coach after and he was awesome he told me that he really thought that I could do this he had no doubt in his mind um, he told me that with my diabetes we just need to be careful um, and to talk to the trainer and touch base and make sure that there was nothing to follow up on and just just making sure that you know I was I was okay health wise and everything so that kept me going the rest of the season was really hard um, conditioning was always hard for me <laughs> I was always constantly worried about my blood sugars but it was so rewarding at the same time the lifting that we did the amount of things that we got to do that you know in your head it was like a mental game you constantly were thinking that the stuff that he had in front of you to do were things that you couldn't do but then you did it like it was amazing and the team was a team and we worked to get everybody through every part of conditioning. We cheered each other on and that was that was what it was about. It was about building that team spirit and building a family and that is exactly what happened. I mean, we all suffered together. We vomited like all the time from conditioning and stuff. It it really isn't as bad as it sounds, but it is very tough and I'm not sure what every single athletic you know, coach and program is going to do. But in college, I think one big thing that I want to make clear is that when you sign up for a college sport, it is very serious. It is not something that you can just blow off. It is not something that you can think, oh, the program says 10 push-ups. I did eight. It's fine. It's not fine. You really do have to push and you have to give it your all, especially if you're a scholarship person, because they are paying you to perform and whenever you're in college it's just a whole nother mindset it is really a way of life and it was something where i became the best shape of my life the most driven um as far as like physical ability and things like that and i had so much fun and i did things that i never thought was possible i pushed a truck by myself it was amazing to be able to do that and it really gave me some mental toughness that I didn't have before. So I don't know if you can tell but those are some of the pros that I am talking about. I mean it gives you a family that you will never be able to find any other way. I mean this kind of dedication and teamwork builds something that I just don't know where else you can get it and I still have some of the best friends that I will ever have in my life because of that team. And the leaders on the team, whether it's the actual seniors or if it's your coach or graduate assistants, those people become people that you can go to for anything, not just the sport. And that is something that's so important. My coach cared more about me, my health, my whole person, rather than the distance that I was throwing and things like that. And that is something that you will find a mentor there that you never would have been able to find if you hadn't joined the team. And that team gets you through some of your coursework. And a lot of times you'll find teammates that have the same major as you, and that helps you because you get through it. And as a standard for being on a team, you have to have a certain GPA to be able to compete. So there's study tables, there's different things that are in place to keep you on track as far as academics go. So I think it was an amazing opportunity to be able to be determined in both athletics and academics because it really helped me. And I think it actually really helped lead me to the future that I really want because 
Um, it was a really hard time in my life when I didn't know what I wanted to do. I had to change my major my freshman year, and it was my teammates who helped me to figure out what I wanted to do, and also my roommates too, but that team was something that I needed, and I'm so happy that I ended up starting out my college career doing track. But for me personally, in the time that I had to give it up, I was doing 21 credit hours, I was struggling, mentality was not the best, I had so much on my plate, I was so stressed, I didn't know which way to turn, and the sport became more stressful than stress relieving and exciting for me. My whole heart and soul wasn't in the sport, and I think that that is where I couldn't kid myself. I mean, don't get me wrong, there's a difference. Sometimes it's hard to have your heart and soul into something whenever it's really, really tough, but you get through it. There are times when you can push through those hard times in a sport, but this was not one of them. This was where it was becoming something that was not healthy for me. I was basically so upset having to go to practice and I just was getting to a point where I almost lacked any feeling at all about it and I think that that was terrible because I used to love it and that was heartbreaking for me and I knew that there were so many other things on my plate and my future and my career were things that I needed to take a hold of and focus on in that moment so I had to lay it down and I had to walk away from the team and that was something that was so hard. I remember going to my coach and talking to him personally about it before it all happened, before I actually did have to stop. And I mean to tell you, he was amazing about it. He really cared about how I was doing and he wanted to make sure that I was okay before we even discussed what was going to happen about actual track and stuff like that. Um, he also offered to try to make things less loaded for me because my blood sugars were also an issue in this time that was really stressful because most of the time whenever you're in a stressful situation, your blood sugars are going to be all over the place if you're diabetic. I mean, that's just kind of how it goes. So he was trying to make sure that he was offering me everything that he could to be able to keep me on the team because he did really care about having me on the team and it was so hard to walk away but I knew it was something that I had to do because my heart wasn't in it and if I tried to push myself to do it I would just hate it and I could not waste my coach's valuable time whenever he could be working with people who wanted to really perform well and they had their hearts in it and I couldn't take that away from my team from my friends and it was really hard because you spend every waking moment pretty much with your team whenever you're on a team in college. And that kind of went away whenever I stopped. Um, but I still was able to keep in contact with all my friends. It just wasn't an every day I see them kind of thing. The truth about playing a sport in college is that it really depends on you. It depends on how you feel in your heart. If your heart and soul says, I want to be doing this sport because it makes me happy, it's my stress reliever for the most part. It doesn't have to never be stressful because if you really care about it, it's gonna stress you out a little. But it has to be your true love and experience of college that makes it what it is. You have to love it and you have to be willing to be dedicated to it to be able to actually be happy in a sport in college. And you do have to take care of yourself before you can take care of a team or before you can take care of performing as an athlete. And so the truth about playing a sport in college is it's all up to you and what you can do. I really hope that this helped you guys. I really hope that it was interesting and that you could get something out of it. And I hope that you enjoyed. And if you have any questions or comments or thoughts, please comment down below. But I love you so much. Thank you for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.